Hello again, brothers and sisters in Christ. I've got another Whopper for you tonight. <laughs> of course, if you're already subscribed to Steve Denoon, Israeli News Live, you've already heard this. But I find this pretty major, along with what I just shared a little while ago. And, um, yeah, I'm still painting. I'm just going at it tonight while I'm listening to this stuff because I'm like, wow, that helps me to get something done that I've had this almost two months and I'm just not doing it. And now I'm like, well, you know what? We may be raptured on Sunday as I'm cleaning up. But, hey, who cares? I'm just staying occupied. We have nothing to do here except I have my ministry and I am going through emails and trying to catch up. But tonight I wanted to work on this. All right, on with the news. Okay, it's... <laughs> My goodness, this is like, what? You got to be kidding me. I'm like, I'm like, uh, surely we're going home soon. This is titled, Pope Francis Submits to the Beast Kingdom. Listen to this. This is Steve Denoon. Watching Israeli News Live, and uh, pardon uh, the feline there, and of course a rainy afternoon here. Um, wanted to, to share with you some breaking news, and uh, when I say breaking, it came out April the 3rd on CatholicCulture.org, where they speak about the Pope drops traditional titles, including the Vicar of Christ, or the Vicar of Christ. April the 3rd. Today is 10th. Now, I am very surprised I had not heard of this. Has anybody else heard of this on any other channel? This is huge. Let me move. Let me keep playing. You know, years ago, or I shouldn't say even years ago, not too many years ago, just within the last couple of years, I was still looking at the Vicar of Christ, or, or Vicarious Filii Dei, as being the, uh, the Antichrist, the Mark of the Beast. <clears throat> And, uh, and it's not been too more recently that I've really had to seriously rethink some of the things I've thought about before. And, but in seeing the Pope of Rome, Pope Francis, now going to, by his actual name, George Bergoglio, dropping the titles, it lets me know he has conceded his power over unto the beast. Unbelievable. That's exactly right. So there are a lot of... Okay, I tell you, for the Pope to go back to using his name, George Bergoglio, now, he gets into doing some teaching uh, about who is Mystery Babylon, and he thinks it's Jerusalem or Israel, but... We all know Israel's not going to be destroyed and have people going, Oh, who's going to buy our goods now? Mystery Babylon is America. And um, feel free to try to tell them that. I'm not. It doesn't matter. Things are going to happen the way they're going to happen. But um, this, um, see, he does have sources. And this was in a Catholic on April 3rd, a Catholic journal. Now, I d I'm like, today's the 10th, isn't it? I, I didn't say. Friday, April 10th, it's 8.43 p.m. I had not heard this. I had not seen this. Nothing came through Fox News about Pope, Pope returns to using his name or... Nothing. It, they're just lighting this new world order in right under our noses. What's that remind you of? Hmm? Big old snake slithering in with his beast system. Well, we might as well. We, be, we, we just need to know we're we're just going home. I just, it, this excites me. I hope it excites you. I am so praying that pa 
Passover. It, see, I really didn't understand why they celebrated for eight days. I know there's a week of cleaning in your house out, getting out all the leaven, which represents us repenting, getting out all the sin. You see, that was what the Jews, the Israelites, were commanded to do after the exodus happened. But for the first time, it was a one-night thing. They ate with their shoes on, their staff in their hands. They had to cook the lamb no bigger than for their family or share with another family. Anything left over had to be burned. They had to be ready to go. And, and it was... Uh, they had to put the blood on the doorposts and across the top so the angel of death would pass over their household and not kill their firstborn. They had the plagues, water turned into blood, the frogs, the flies. Um, I think there were other pestilences. And then you had the three days of darkness. And then the last one was the angel of death came and killed the firstborn of every family, grown or not, firstborn of their cattle, the firstborn of their horses, whatever. But the Israelites were spared, just like. God promises to spare us of what's going on if you follow his commands. Can't be loose about it. You have to really believe it. This Psalm 91, no plague will enter into my tent. Well, I don't think this is a genuine plague, but whatever, it's, it, there could be other plagues. I do think it was a bioweapon, and but what they're doing, that interview on Dana Ashley, uh, that nurse talking, uh, that this makes so much sense as to how these numbers are going up so high and sometimes overnight. 250 more in our in our just in our state or you know it, countrywide worldwide it's ridiculous and now we know why I'll link that video too it's Dana Ashley and I don't know the name of it um let me find it for those of you well I'll tell you what when you go to her channel it doesn't show up you have to click on videos. All right, so let me go to my history and I'll tell you the name of it. For those of you who can't, click a link in the description box, okay? All right, when you go to her videos, well, actually, it says, um, yeah, you have to go to videos, and it's called Our Hands Are Tied. And then it says an ICU nurse, dot, dot, dot. Okay, 14 minutes, 14 seconds, and it's well worth your time, and it helps you understand why so many people are getting the COVID, supposedly. Now, I understand there are people... Uh, some folks are saying, yes, I have a relative who's got it really bad. And other nurses are saying, this is a virus. We've never seen anything like it. Now, whether they were paid to go on the news and say that, I don't know. But they said when their oxygen drops, it drops fast. And uh, others are saying that if you use ventilators... It really does them more harm than good. And here the New York uh, mayor is asking for 30,000 more. That man's 
one of the biggest actors of all. He doesn't need 30,000 ventilators. They don't need any ventilators. If these people's lungs are collapsing, they just need gov they, they need government. They need oxygen. And ventilators can force it in too hard and be more harm than good. Anyway, I don't know the full science about all that. But um, I'm going to bring this video up. And it says an error occurred. Please try again later. That says that to me. We can't disclose time. this technically oh. to anyone or you're breaking federal law. You could. That's the nurse. They've altered her voice to protect her anonymity. She says you can say there are COVID patients being admitted for COVID. Here, I'll let you hear it. You can say there are COVID patients being admitted for COVID, but they're considered COVID until it's ruled out. Once they're ruled out, they don't say, oh, never mind, scratch that number. The number stays. You basically treat the patient as if they have it until you find out that they don't. Well, what if... If they've got something else, they need to be treated for that something else. This nurse goes into talking about how so much harm is being done because of this. And patients, uh, she was saying, she, he, I can't really tell. They did a good job of disguising the voice because you can't really tell. But um, overheard a couple cardiologists talking that, there are probably people staying at home having silent heart attacks because they're afraid to go to the emergency room. You know, because, like, well, what if it's not a heart attack and I go for no reason and I catch this COVID? You know what I'm saying? Anyway, I'll, I'll link them both. You can watch them if you want. But, though, well, you know, just the part about Pope Francis, I bet you basically heard the news of it he has dropped all of his titles and is just going by his name all right take that for what you will the rest of it steve doesn't say a whole lot more about that he does read some of the art um the article but then he gets into teaching about uh, who Mr. Who he thinks Mr. Babylon is reading from the Word of God. Okay, so I'm going to end this here. I plead the blood of Jesus again over myself, this computer, the internet connection. Uh, anything I miss, Lord, you cover it for me. And each and every one of you, your devices and your internet connections as well. And let me again state that no weapon formed against us will prosper. And I really don't have a green thumb. I kill plants. Anyway, I'm in the middle of praying. Sorry. I'm sorry, Lord. Um, no weapon formed against us shall prosper. I say God bless each and every one of you, everybody who sees this. I pray for your protection. I pray just keep looking up. Our redemption draws nigh. It is closer now than it's ever been. And we are going home soon. We have to be. The signs are all around us. They're all around us. It's it's amazing. Okay, so I'll end it here and I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.